Hello everybody, I'm back, and why my voice sounds like press because it's on purpose, but today we are going to be talking about Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I know the review is a bit late, but what did you get? Now this movie, I'm going to be out of the bat, I'm going to say this, this movie is horrible. It's awful, it's horrible. But I'll explain why right now. Let so if you but then again, this is in my opinion. If you have if you're that one person who defends this movie, then so be it. Then go ahead, defend the movie all you want. But don't just don't lash out at me just saying, or even at a lot of other people say that this movie say it's good or bad. It's good. Okay. Anyways. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mortal Kombat Annihilation was released in 1997 and is directed by John R. Natetti. I don't know how to say that. It is based in, it is inspired by the events of Mortal Kombat 3. So, let's go on to the story. Oh man, I don't know man, the story I slightly forgot. Okay. So, what does it, it, le it leaves off from the ending of Mortal Kombat 1995. Shao Kahn arrives with his goons in the worst way possible. Every bit of this movie, this looks so bad. <sighs> so, let's go. So, Shao Kahn enters the portal. He is... He enters the, per the portal, and basically, all hell breaks loose. Most of the people there are dead, and we got a lot of new baddies. We got Motaru, who looks pretty good. Ermac, who looks eh, eh. Rain, and then Shiva. And then, Katana... Who was Katana's mom, Sindel. Which gives to one of the worst lines in history that I will mutter out in my life. Mother, you're alive. Too bad you will die. <sighs> God, that line made me laugh for how awful it is. So anyways... Shao Kahn tells Raiden and his followers that he, the Earth was built in six days, so in return, the Earth will be destroyed and will belong to Shao Kahn in six days. During that time, Raiden fights Shao Kahn in the worst, I mean, one of the worst, one of the worst ever, like, look at the effects. The effects look awful. Just, you can see their buzziness. Here, I'll show you. And also, a few of the characters in this movie. It looks... Oh, Lord, is it bad. After Raiden gets beaten to death, Sonya gets... Pulled by Shao Kahn and is ready to die. In exchange, so basically, but then Johnny Cage then comes to the rescue and tries to shadow kick Shao Kahn, but well, Shao Kahn grabs him and is ready to snap his neck. So in, so if Raiden didn't, does it not kill? If Raiden does not, if this if Raiden kills what all of Shao Kahn's goonies, then Shao Kahn will kill Johnny Cage. Now he lets go of Shao Kahn goonies, but of course Shao Kahn's a bit mischievous and such. And whoop, Johnny Cage is dead. Also, you've noticed Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade are play, portrayed by two different actors. Everyone is recast. Christopher Lambert is gone as Christopher Lambert is not Raiden anymore. Is now James Ramar as Raiden, who is even worse. 
Sandra has a Sonya Blade. There's eh. Um, and then there's Lynn Red Williams as Jax, who does, who is pretty cool, I guess. And then, and then we have, and then Johnny Cage, who is played by Chris Conrad. Now, the reason why Sonya, Sonya Blade's actor, Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage's actor for the original Mortal Kombat weren't playing is because of two reasons. I'm not sure about Raiden, but I do know from YouTube that that's, um, Mortal, that's basically Sonya Blade's actor decided to play in I Know What You Did Last Summer, and... Lyndon Ashby, the character who plays Johnny Cage in the new in this film, decided to reject the role because of the script while reading the script. Good on his part, because this movie is awful. This movie is horrible. Okay, after that, after all of that, after Johnny Cage is dead, and of course they go in a way in a pretty crappy way, everyone goes out everyone everyone goes out everyone is leaves and escapes from the black some weird ninjas now here's a weird part now the, well, there's a ball thing that apparently goes to anywhere within hours okay what about raymond's teleportation and the ability that is used within a few minutes to go to outworld what Oh my god, this movie was bad. I can't extract, I can't, I'm sorry if I'm saying this movie is bad, bad, bad. But I can't stress enough how I dislike this movie. Okay, anyways. Everyone goes to everywhere. Everyone goes to everywhere. Really weird sentence, but Raiden sends Liu Kang and Katana to go and find Nightwolf for his help. While Sonya, while he, while Raiden and Sonya... Well, Raiden goes to the Elder Gods, and Sonya goes to the Special Forces base. Now, for as far as I know, we get... During that time, Katana and Liu Kang go, are, arrive in the middle of nowhere, and they are, before they kiss, Smoke appears and kicks their asses. Everyone is cool. I really like how Katana uses her little fan blades, but I do take issue with Smoke using a chest missile. Smoke is supposed to be, you know, using smoke abilities. Just cyber eyes. Not Sector's moves. Sector is the one with the flamethrowers and the missiles. All the cool stuff. But before, you know, Smoke can kill Liu Kang and Katana, Sub-Zero on a zipline that's frozen just slides down and freezes the cyborg and boom there goes smoke and he explodes when his missile goes off rest in peace smoke then we get sub-zero who of course is wearing his mask and then removes his mask you reveal the eye scar this is Kwai Liang this is the sub-zero we get throughout the games the main sub-zero from the first game is sub-zero's brother young older brother, Bihan, who was killed from the hands of Scorpion. Later games, starting from MK2 throughout, Sub-Zero will be, will be portrayed by a younger brother, Kwai Liang. Pretty cool. Then, you get the Scorpion versus Sub-Zero fight. I honestly think it's, it's okay, I guess. I, I'm sorry, I don't, I know a lot of people really like when Scorpion says suckers, but I don't like it. I don't know why. Um, a little nitpick, though, for the costumes. They're cool, yes. But I wish they were slightly unique. With, with the most of the costumes we see in Mortal Kombat 1995, they slightly felt unique. They felt pretty... They felt unique to the character. Here, they're just... They're cool, yes, but... Excuse me? Unrecognizable, kind of. After that, Scorpion teleports and kidnaps Katana while seeing suckers, and boom, he is gone. And Scorpion was never seen again.
And actually, same thing with Sub-Zero. He's gone. And that's another issue I have with this movie. Every new character is either gone, who, like, survives. Any good or bad character who is revealed is either dead or they just get, they just get quickly are out of the movie. Which is so disappointing. I really want to see more action with Sub-Zero. Next, we move on to the... We then move on to, of course... Not, and then we move on to, of course, after going through that mess of a movie... Sonya Blade enters the Special Forces base and rescues her partner, Jax, who has upgraded himself with cyberized arms. Then, he meets... Cyrax, who looks pretty cool. Wish he didn't speak, though, and I made some robot sounds. He's pretty cool. And some ninja guys. I think this, it, it was, like, one of the few scenes I actually kind of liked. It's pretty good. After, basically, Cyrax gets beaten, Sonya does a kiss of death from the original games to kill Cyrax. Then we get this weird CGI dragon thing coming out of Cyrax, and he... Boom! Explodes. Green screen explosion! Good lord! Green screen explosions are good, am I right? Oh, lord, I hate this movie. Liu Kang enters out of nowhere, and then he's, 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 he's go-heads and meets Night Wolf in the middle of the night. Night Wolf, Night Wolf basically tells him about his animality, which is a fatality, just using animals in the game. And, basically... After that, good old boy Nightwolf throws a hatchet or a tomahawk to Liu Kang's face, which I don't know how that would kill him. And there we go. And Nightwolf was never seen again. Even even I forgot about his three tasks and every single bit. He only did one, told him once, and that's it. One task, and the other two, completely out of the movie. And then... He try. He wakes up after trying to discover his animality and meets Jade. Wish she could. She was recast though. Then. Then of course. Before Liu Kang could 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 you know finish Jade, she said, "Oh, that was one of our one of Night Wolf's Night Wolf's um tests." Okay, that that's fine. He didn't say anything. Okay, okay. I like to point out, I kind of knew that Jade was going to betray them. Sorry. Meanwhile, Raiden is there and meets up with the Elder Gods in a, in a set that looks something from Jesus Christ Superstar. I watched that during religion class, by the way. I watched that during the religion class. And I, but it looks like Something straight out of Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, man. I'll show you what I mean. It looks... It looks something straight out of Jesus Christ Superstar to me. God, I hate this movie so badly. I regret this movie. Watching this movie. Oh, yeah, about Shao Kahn. He doesn't even wear his whole helmet, and oh my lord, why? <sighs> why? And also, how is this guy Shao Kahn? And apparently his dad is Shinnok. How come Shinnok looks so like a middle-aged man? He looks like a hitman, I'm sorry. In the games, Shinnok is actually pretty, in terms of gameplay and design-wise, he's actually pretty cool. But he's completely wasted. Ah. Oh. I really do. I'm trying to explain the plot, and I can't even explain it. Okay, so Liu Kang and Co. Liu Kang and Jade, and Liu Kang and Jade meet up with Jax and Sonya, who arrive there, and who are who share their greetings. Raiden comes out in the worst haircut, in the worst screen screen effect ever. Good lord. And then Sindel and Shao Kahn and the Outworld forces come in and destroy it. Oh lord, it looks cheap. Oh man, this movie is so bad. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I hate this movie. 
after that, Raiden, then, or uh, Raiden and the crew arrive in Outworld, where they meet Sindel and fight with three reptiles, which, you bet it, you bet one thing, those two reptiles were gone. They were never seen again. And so, and the third one was knocked out. Sindel was, was hurt, was basically beaten off camera, but during that time, Liu Kang rescues Katana, but also fights Baraka. Oh, Lord, what is Baraka? Baraka looks bad. Look, I like, I like Baraka. He's another good character. He's another, I feel like he's very underrated. He keeps on getting beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten every, like, time. But, oh, man, he looks like a waitress. <laughs> Look, I know that's his costume in the games, kind of, but he looks cool. But here he looks awful, especially with that mask. And even worse, he dies with a bit of stock footage from Rain's demise. Originally, I didn't say this before. Rain died pretty bad, I guess. He didn't have enough screen time. He was hit by and thwapped by Shao Kahn's hammer and thrown into a fiery pit. And there goes Rain. However, it's literally from a different angle. It's on the side, not the front. And literally, you can see a guy's hand real close. Good lord, this movie. Again, I dislike this movie so bad. <sighs> I like to say that, yeah. This movie, despite having a $330,000 million budget, it does not deliver very well. It has such a high budget, but looks so cheap in every way. Anyways, Katana is rescued, kisses Sindel, but Sindel is actually evil still, and Jade is betrays them, which I kinda expected. I actually expected this because it wasn't that surprising. And then she notes out of there, and so does Sindel, and a weird twirly spinning, and it looks bad. Then we get this weird tattoo with Raiden. Also, I forgot. Oh, again, I keep on forgetting so much stuff for this God's sake of movie. So apparently, Raiden actually is a son of Shinnok, who is who Shao Kahn is his brother. All this is made for the movie. And why? 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 Oh man, this movie is so bad. I can't even talk about it. Next, then they arrive to fight Shao Kahn. Well, actually, Shao Kahn kills Jade with a really crappy CGI monster. <sighs> I just don't like this movie. <sighs> this movie's so bad. I'm sorry. I'm screaming. Lower it down. If you're wearing headphones, I am sorry. Next. Raiden and crew fight Shao Kahn and his goons, but Raiden tries reasoning with Shao Kahn, but Shinnok orders Shao Kahn to kill Raiden, which he does, and there we go. Then we move on to the main final event, which looks so bad. So, who do we have here? Liu Kang is fighting Shao Kahn. Motaru, well, not Motaru. Jax is fighting Motaru. Katana is fighting Sindel. And like, Ermac is fighting, well, not Ermac. Sonya is fighting Ermac. Everything is so weird. You even get whatever, when, even the shot where Shao Kahn throws like Liu Kang on the floor, and we get this weird camera shot. Watch. As long as it does it justice. Johnny Cage was technically the funniest in Mortal Kombat 1995, being played by Linda Nashby, but he just does not, but it just does not fit the role. Every bit of this movie is rushed. The effects, the green screens, rushed. Everything about this movie feels so bad, and it does not. 
It is not well done. It is bad and poor quality and feels lazy or just so low budget. So, I don't know what else that I miss. I give Mortal Kombat, so, in conclusion, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is, is a movie I regret watching. There, out of 10, I would give it a solid, solid, solid 4, or even a 3.2. This movie was so bad. Only thing savable are some of the fights by like 1 or 2, I guess. And seeing iconic Mortal Kombat characters such as Shiva, Cyrax, Cyrax, Smoke, and Jade, and a lot of others, but they barely appear, or they just get killed off way too easily, or just quickly. So, anyways, that's my review on Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Thanks, guys, for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in my next review on Mortal Kombat 2021. Spoiler alert. It's pretty good. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye. Yes. See? I feel stressed with this movie. No wonder. No wonder I cry. This movie I hated. After that, everyone gets their strength. Jax is removed with his cybernetic arms and beats Notaru. Ermac basically summons new Cybot. Yes. And is quickly killed. Jax beats Noob Cybot to death. Boom. And Ermac gets his neck snapped by Sonya. And Sindel gets captured by Katana and crew. And then we move on to the animalities, which again look so bad. Oh my lord, they are the worst in this entire movie. Oh my lord. Oh my god. These, they, they look bad. They look so bad. Just look.